Drop it like it's hard, drop it like it's hard, drop it like it's hard. Drop it like it's hard. Bitch, try to get it, you. Park it like it's hard, park it like it's hard, park it like it's hard. Let the nigga get an attitude. Pop it like it's hard, pop it like it's hard, pop it like it's hard. Got the rollie on my arm and I'm pouring Sean down and I roll the best weed 'cause I got it going on. When the pimps and the kids come, drop it like it's hard, drop it like it's hard, drop it like it's hard. Bitch, try to get it, you. Park it like it's hard, park it like it's hard, park it like it's hard. Let the nigga get an attitude. Pop it like it's hard. And boom! Good morning. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Trucking Journey. I'm Trucker Jim, and it is an absolute gorgeous Friday morning. I hear it's getting up to 80 degrees today. I hope my my audio is okay in this. I got about five comments and I knew they were coming because the last video, which is probably going to sound similar to this because this is filmed on the iPhone, not bringing the big DLSR out, you know, in the, uh, the day cab. Wow, look at this sky behind. But today is going to be a little different. Now, all week, it's really been business as usual as far as me being able to work, which I'm very thankful for that just been going to Volvo. Hearing all these rumors of shutdowns for the, the automotive places like Ford, BMW, and, and Volvo, you're not, I'm not breaking news, it's just rumors as of right now, everything's going down there today. But you know, as we found out over this last week, it's really only been like a week and a day since things began to change. And, <laughs> We're all, it's only just begun. But so has my shift. My pre-trip is done. Instead of going over to Lear, we're gonna go right by Lear. There's a brand new DC for Lowe's Home Improvement. Hey, we're not at Lowe's yet. We're across the road from the liquor store. I heard the other day, all the liquor stores, they're not gonna open back up until some point in the future. Leave your comments below what you think about. I wasn't expecting this, but if you're in the Greenville area, oh, that's crazy. And we're, like, this is absolutely. Are those still? That's yeah, they look alive. They look alive, but they're definitely <laughs> fresh. I picked them up. Of course, I had them sent brought down to me. I'm from a down. I'm from down that area, outside of Santee, but again, lives in Charleston for two years. I still got close friends that actually uh, grew up there. Right. So therefore, uh, when they found out I was running dedicated, they was like, well, hey, we got something for you. So yeah. you a truck driver too? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So therefore, they met me last night. Of course, uh, gave me this big cooler, 50 pounds of fresh shrimp right off the boat. This is South Carolina shrimp. We are now looking for a trailer. And I was just thinking about my old buddy Nancy. He called me earlier this week. He had recently stopped being a beer guy and was going to be a truck driver for UPS up there in Louisville, where the world headquarters is. And while during his training period, he was driving on the yard like I am now without a seatbelt on. And well, he got fired for it. But here's our trailer. Let's hook up. Get out of two pockets like it's hard. Give me dollars on my pocket. I'm going to go home and I'm pouring Sean down and I'm going to go to sleep because I got to go home. Go home. Out at the gate, but I'm listening to the John Boy and Billy show, right? 
and they have a caller that calls in and the answer is always C. It's always C. That's a joke, but I guess this caller didn't know that and he lost. He's the second one in 2020. John Boy put him on self-quarantine. Clothes than your typical one. I don't know if these are the right docks or not. It says installer pickup. All right, I am in the right place and the dock just opened, but there's somebody that's going to be in there before me, so we've got a little time on our hands. Mr. SD's truck driver is going to put it in that hole. So after he's done, we'll put in there. You know, normally I would go grab a little lunch when I've got times like this, but as you probably heard on the news, ah, you can't really do that. Or maybe you can get it to go. There is another dock on the far side. I'm glad I don't want me to back in there with all these flower racks in the way. But Lowe's is usually pretty quick, so hopefully this won't take very long. Normally on Lowe's, you just bring an empty trailer back to the Lowe's DC, but I got a message. No, I'm not doing something simple as that. I'm going to somewhere in Orangeburg, which I'm sure is gonna be a live load to take it back to the upstate. Yeah. But you're not gonna hear me go on a big rant complaining about that. I'm thankful to be out here earning a living still. I know many people especially in the service industry, and it's getting ready to be a lot more people in manufacturing that's not going to be working for an extended period of time. And my last video was demonetized probably because of the title had that new C word in it. That's right. If you want to monetize a video, there is a new C word. It's not... <laughs> that's the old one. I'm not going to say what the new one is, but... It's um, it's all over the news. You you know the C word that I'm talking about. All right, we have an empty dock, so it's time to put it in that hole. We just need a gap in traffic, and then I will start blocking the street temporarily. This probably isn't gonna take too long. Not a lot in there. I'm not gonna say I'm scared yet, but I am definitely concerned, and. The medical part of it, I hadn't even wrapped my brain around as far as however many people are going to get sick, get really sick, the percentage that's going to die from this. I hadn't even wrapped my head around that yet. What's kind of on the top of my mind is the economic effect. What's going on right now is going to have on our country and the world. There's just a, a weird vibe, and you're seeing more and more stores shut down. We're going to see a, even more of it. I don't know what parts of government, the court system, are going to be affected by this. Banks is going to be affected by this. You know, we're hearing about these stimulus checks that are going to be going out uh, like the first week of April. But are they going to be paper checks going out? I know our liquor stores are closed here. Are people going to be cashing these at the grocery store? Are the banks still going to be open? And then all this paper money, cash, you know, floating around and exchanging hands. Or if they did prepaid cards, what kind of mailbox theft could we expect? This is 
interesting times. And for the next few weeks or however long this is going on, it's my intention to upload a couple of videos. I don't know what information my perspective is going to give to anyone, but at the very least, I'd like to document the experience for myself, my friends and family as time goes on. Because this is different times now. I think looking back, we'll categorize life as prior to the year 2020 and then how things were after 2020 and well as we're going through right now during the year 2020. All right here we are this is a load that's taking me back to the upstate we are in Orangeburg South Carolina there's a few other GNP drivers and both of them told me they're gonna to have to file for an extension of their hours of service. Instead of a 14 hour clock running out on them, they're gonna switch it to a 16 hour clock. But that ain't what I wanted to hear. The way it looks right now, it's probably gonna be seven o'clock tonight before I get back. As soon as that flashing light turns to red and then turns green again, I will be loaded and can go back in and get my paperwork and start working my way back to the upstate. <sighs> it's hot. Well, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, episode two of season five. I figure now would probably be a good time to get back into vlogging. Now, some of us are absolutely headed for some tough times. Probably our nation is headed for some tough times. But people, I promise you, there is opportunity in tough times. None of us are real sure what lies ahead. But my intention is to take you guys along for the journey. If this is your first time on the Trucker Jim channel, there's about five years worth of content that's been documenting my trucking journey. If you like this video, be sure to let us all know with a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please do that. Hit the bell for notifications because the intention is to upload a couple of videos each week for the foreseeable future. But everyone, until the next episode, be safe out there and keep on trucking.